Hello everybody, this tutorial is just going to show you real quick how to access your reading course in Moodle uh, and also to make sure that your students are able to see it and then finally how you can add the information so that your students can log into Reading Wonders directly from Moodle. So once you are logged in, you're going to see a list of courses that you have available for you on your account. Right here in the middle, this is going to be your course overview. Anything that you are enrolled in, you have, uh, you have a, a listing right here in the middle. You'll notice that some of these, I'm using Julie Puck's account, uh, some of these up at the top here, these are all in bold. If it's in bold, that means that it's a course that it's available to students. So all of these, when Julie's students log in, this, uh, this Spelling 3, Language Arts, and Reading, those will all be available to her students. These, uh, if we go a little bit further down, these are courses that Julie is enrolled in as a student. There are going to be some changes coming in the next year or so that will clean up this view a little bit to make that make that difference a little bit easier to spot. But for right now, any of your courses that you are enrolled in that are inv available come to the top and they're in bold, just like this. Our certified staff intranet is also right here. Uh, that's got a lot of important information in it as well, and we'll hear about that uh, at another time. Scrolling down farther, you see that these courses are in gray. All of these are generated by Sims. So if you see a year right here, that means that it's a course that has been generated by Sims, uh, and you're already automatically enrolled in it, as are your students. So if you want to use this for reading, then what you want to do is you want to find your course that says Reading 3. Or if you're a third grade or a fourth grade teacher, obviously this would be a different number. So I'm going to go into Julie's reading course and open this up. So the first thing that you want to do if you're going to be using this with your students is you need to go over here on the left hand side in the administration block right over here and we want to click on edit settings. Now the only thing that we need to do in here to edit the settings we do not change the course full name, we do not change the course short name, we do not change the course category. If you change any of these, what will end up happening is Sims will create a brand new course and your students will be enrolled in that and they won't be able to access this one. It also breaks some of the other integrations that we have. So please, do not touch any of those three. What you want to do though, the only thing you need to do in here is where it says visible right here, make sure that this says show and not hide. As soon as you switch, uh, switch it to say show, that's going to make the title bold and your students will be able to access it. Even if you don't have any other content in here other than the connection to, uh, to, to Reading Wonders, you still need to show this course so that your students can get into it. Okay. Once you've done that then, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can ignore the rest of this stuff, click on Save Changes. All right. So we've saved our changes now and we're ready to add the access to Connect Ed, which is what, um, which is what McGraw Hill calls Reading Wonders. So over here on the right hand side, you're going to see a button that says Turn Editing On. You'll also see the same button over here in the administration block. All of these little windows right here, we call these blocks. Okay. So we have the administration block right over here. We can click on Turn Editing On here or we have the button right up here. I'm going to click on the button and now you'll see that the view changes a little bit. All of your resources and things like that can go here in the middle. If you're a third grade teacher um, we have we have the ability to um, show you guys or get you get you access to some of these things and you can talk to other teachers that are using Moodle as well. All of this content is shareable so um, you know if you want to use some of these things or take a look at them uh, talk to me and we'll we'll make some we'll make some arrangements. Um, so here now we have we have these three blocks over on this side. You'll notice that this one is grayed out a little bit. It, that means that it is hidden to students and it's hidden from view but it's not deleted. Um, we can um, update any of these blocks if we'd like. Uh, if you want to, for example, if you don't care to have the search forums here and you're never going to use it, there's a little gear right here. If we click on that gear, we can configure it, we can hide it so that nobody can see it. Um, we can assign roles so that only certain people uh, with a specific role can see that, or we can delete that search forums block completely. If we're not going to use it at all, uh, then we don't then we don't need to worry about having in, that in there.
You can also move these blocks. So if you don't like this three column layout that we have right here, if you want to have everything over on the left hand side, you can just grab it by the arrows right here and drag it over where you want it to go. So you can clean up this, uh, this layout however you would like. That's totally, that's totally up to you. Um, what we need to do in order to be able to access the Wonders materials is we need to scroll down and look for this box right here that says Add a Block. When we get there then, what we want to do is we want to click on this little drop down box and scroll down to where it says McGraw-Hill AAIRS. This is the way that you will add your connection. So I'm going to click on that, screen refreshes a little bit, and then if you look over here on the left hand side, it says McGraw-Hill AAIRS, and then we have Connect Ed, and then it also has instructor documentation built in right there. So if you have any questions about how it works, you can click on that link, and it's going to give you a real quick reference about how to um, how to use this system. Now there is a whole lot more in this um, in this page than you are going to need. So I haven't spent too much time at this point yet um, digging into the documentation very much, but um, it's it's in there, and you have a few things to take a look at and see how that see how that works. Um, what you will do then, and your students as well, will uh, see this Connect Ed link right here. When they click on that, it's going to open up a new tab, and then it's going to authenticate your sign-on request. If you get an error, which has happened to me more often than not, I try it multiple times, and it will work the second time. Okay, So you can just, if you get that error, close the tab, dismiss it, and then start it up again. Um, I'm not sure why it does that. Um, I will I will reach out to our technical contact to, but if you do get that error, um, just let us just just try it again and see if it works. If it does not work, then um, then let me know and we'll work it out. So you've got your terms of use. Uh, you can't use this without accepting them. So scroll down and click yes, I accept. And now you're automatically going to have your teacher and student additions right here. Um, so we're here on the ConnectEd uh, website. This is how you will access your materials. You cannot go directly to the to their website um, to log in. You have to do this through Moodle. That's the only way that you can access it. So what we want to do now, we've got Manage Users and Content right over here under Manage Classes. When we click on that, that's going to bring up all of your classes from Moodle. And you'll see right here, um, we've, got, we've got Reading Wonders Grade 3. Um, that's not the one that we want, though. We are looking for this one right here. Um, so these are going to be the course short names right here, 110-RD03. So R, you want to look for the ones that say RD and then your grade level. And then you can go in and you can create a class from here. And um, those then will, um, those will be where you, um, where you access your, um, your, your students and your, and your classes. So now, now that that is active, um, those students that are enrolled in this class will be able to access the materials. That is as far as I have gotten with this so far. This is still brand new. I appreciate everybody's patience as we work through this whole process. I'm going to keep this course open and leave it uh, available as a um, as a as a help forum for you um, if you have any any questions about things as we go. So um, good luck. Welcome back, and I'm looking forward to a fantastic year with everybody.